Hi, this is Jeff Lee from Hammerhead and ET Enterprises in our shop here in Muskegon, Michigan. And this video is about our product, the Hammerhead housing. And this is an IRS differential that uh, we've been producing since, um, we've been prototyping it since about 2009. Um, we brought it to market for the Camaro in 2013, tested it a little bit before that. And then here, and these are all the prototypes. This here is our first fabricated prototype. This might look a little familiar to some people. But it is a 9-inch housing that we fabbed up. And then we bought a strange 12-bolt center section to go in. And then welded this, created this uh, hammerhead front end. So this went in a um, 2010 Camaro for the SEMA show at, I think it was 2012, end of 2012, 2013, something like that. Um, and uh, tested great. I think there were some problems with the car that broke a lot of stuff, but the differential didn't break. So what this is, is an IRS differential for fifth gen Camaro, so 2010 to 2015. It'll also work in like the Pontiac G8, the Holden Commodore, and some of those applications as well. But we started with this fabricated prototype while we we're drawing, and then we made this plastic model, um, and then we started to casting. And uh, in my previous videos, I told you how my father was a pattern maker by trade, and that's that's how we were able to do this on a budget because he knew the foundries, he knew how to use AutoCAD, and had a lot of connections in the industry. So we went from the fabricated prototype, plastic model, first castings, this one is coated with nitro plate, so it's like a ceramic coating. But what, dad, what the genius of what Dad did in here was he built multiple applications into this housing. So this is a 12 bolt, it's got this hammerhead, for the Camaro, but this mount right here is for the Viper, Gen 1 or 2 Viper. This mount right here is for the uh, C4 Corvette. And this mount right here is for the LX Chrysler. So here's an example of a Cor C4 Corvette application. We've got this little uh, add-on Piece of, piece of billet to stack on there so it'll bolt in. We had this in some custom chassis. We're still kind of testing this. Um, we want to go to like a CV axle instead of the, um, the drive shaft style axle. So, but again, the the C4 and the and the and the Viper use the use the Dana 44. So this will bolt right up to the Dana 44 Batwing. And here's a Viper one. And here's another test billet unit. Here's one of our Corvette cover plastic models. But yeah, here's a, get in there. There's a 33 spline axle. They'll work with like an Eaton True Track or most Posi units. So again, one casting, a few different covers, and a few different machining options. And then you're, you're in C2, C3, C4 Corvette, Gen 1, Gen 2 Viper and the 5th gen Camaro. And for the C2 and C3 Corvettes, we, uh, we updated it and we made it a flat bottom case. We added some strength to it and uh, you know it's a little bit heavier so you got these mounts here and you can machine out the mount for the C2 and C3 Corvettes. So we've got all those, those options covered. And this has been used in a lot of different uh, road race cars, we've got some drag cars out there using it. Then this one is a 8.8 Ford. We have not officially released this to the public. We got these done in like 2019 and then we went into COVID and then my dad passed away. So I focused just on taking care of our existing customers and getting a whole, getting control of everything. So this is based on the uh, Cobra Mustang, the Thunderbird, 
or the Explorer type rear ends. And it'll take all 8.8 .8 internals. Here's a plastic model that we have polished, which is really cool. Um, and then, um, so there's the C4, there's the C2 and C3 mount for it, but you can also use the Ford Racing Performance, a Ford Performance or Racing cover with the load bolts on it. But this one actually has the load bolts kind of built in, like it goes flat on it. It'll, it'll butt up to this, and we have a couple different cap options. All our caps are billet and machined into the cover, or machined into the housing, straight across. Here's a flat one for the Ford Racing cover, where you can back up those, those load bolts to it. So what you're looking at here is a lot of time and money um, we've sold, there's probably 100 or 150 out there in the world now, but we're just ready to release this, and this Corvette version is about to go into a car, and we're really excited about it. And I'm about to ship this off, but I wanted to shoot this video before I ship this off. And this uses drag vet suspension, and we've also had, uh, it's also an option for the Detroit Speed suspension too, for like the road race crowd. So what we want to do is anybody who's building an IRS car, you know, there's a lot of stuff, stock stuff out there in the junkyard, but that's drying up, especially with some of the 8.8 .8 stuff. And in Corvette's case, they didn't even have, they just had 10 bolts and they were, you know, machining down 12 bolt gears. So we're trying to address that to have a full 12 bolt or an 8.8 .8 Ford gear. So thank you for your time. This is Jeff Lee from Hammerhead. Any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you.